G'day guys. Um, what we're doing today is we're, we're interviewing uh, the current crop of players down at Preston. I'm sure everyone's seen the, um, the really good interviews that have been getting put on the 1860 page uh, that Lee's been doing. He's been doing some really good work. Uh, so what we're looking at doing today, uh, and there'll be a few interviews, you know, um, moving forward as well, is um, just, just speaking with uh, the present players. Um, that way we can introduce the past to the present. Who we've gotten today is a, a current set of brothers at Preston Cricket Club. I know there was a um, there was a there was a post a, a week or two ago on the page about uh, the 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 player the brothers that have played at Preston. Uh, there were some great names on that list, um, and, and no doubt we've added another two great names to the list here. We've got a couple of characters here with us today. Um, so yeah, uh, sit back and uh, listen to the uh, Bamford brothers. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start off with with yourself, Riley. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself and um, introduce yourself to the Preston Creek Club family, mate? Yeah, um, you know, um, I'm 14 years old. Um, been playing cricket for ever since I can remember, really. Just old man, always went to cricket with him, just loved every second of it um, down at Preston Baseballers and um, got the opportunity through the academy last year uh, to get an opportunity down uh, just in the academy and then that developed into playing um, in the fours, which was really good. Uh, playing under Tenny there and obviously under the base Leck as head coach. So, yeah, it was real good. Yeah, really good. And I think, um, you know, just for the past players that are watching this, obviously the, the academy that's been set up at Preston, uh, we've had a lot of, lot of young players come through that. So that's been a really good initiative um, so far. Uh, Lockie, why don't, why don't you introduce yourself to us? Uh, g'day, I'm Lockie. Uh, I'm 16. Uh, pretty much the same as Riley, just played cricket forever. Um, started down in baseballs and then um, came through the Next Gen Academy. When was it? Last year. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. So you both came from baseballs, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice one. Yeah, very good. You two have only been here for a season or two seasons? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Second year. What's what's been the best thing about Preston since you know in the twelve months or so that you've been down at the club? Uh yeah, I just think it's the willingness from like ones and twos players um, to help develop uh, the players younger, like myself, like Harry Downs, Kai Turner, and yeah. really like show them the ways of how to train like properly and get stuff out of it, and also um, how to get the most out of your game and stuff like that. Not only like technically and also mentally though they put a good emphasis on that or not burning out, stuff like that, but, yeah. Nice one. Rocky? Yeah, I think the club's been really good at helping players adjust to turf because, like, a lot of the young guys are coming um, come from Sinto, so it's a bit hard to adjust, but everyone's willing to help each other no matter skill difference or anything, which I think is a really good positive. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, coming up from synthetic cricket, it's obviously a completely different game, you know, in terms of technique and the style and things like that. So um, it's good to hear. I think, you know, the seven, I've been involved in the club about seven odd years now. And, um, you know, as you said, Riley, there's a there's a really good culture in the club, you know, with the, a lot of the senior heads that are helping out the, the juniors, um, because obviously there's been a really big um, influx of junior players over the years, um, the last few years especially. So uh, that's really good to hear. Which of your which of your teammates do you enjoy playing with the most at Preston? And give us a, a little reason as to why you enjoy playing with these uh, particular fellas. Miles? Um, yeah, I reckon definitely the big hef. Um, he's just a good bloke. He just makes the culture in the fours just nice and relaxed and easy to um, easy to like move into. Um, coming from pretty foreign areas of not having obviously much experience playing on turf and stuff like that it just makes it nice and easy just makes it a bit light-hearted and it's just makes it a bit more relaxed environment to um develop and play cricket in. yeah for sure Heathy, that's Heath McAlpine for anyone wondering yeah um that bloke's pretty much part of the furniture down at Preston so no he's a he's a ripper he's a ripper Lockie uh I'd probably go Harry Downs he's uh he's a good character he's very supportive um energetic on and off the field which I think pretty important to create, um, to create a good team environment. So, yeah, I'd probably go with him. Yeah, he's another rep. He's another young fella that's um, come up through the ranks and him and his um, him and his brother, uh, another set of brothers that play at Preston at the moment, his brother Tom's, um, another couple of good brothers at the club. The the season that you did play last year, boys, what was, I guess, what was the, 
what was the personal highlight for you, whether it be yeah, individually, an individual game or, or team win or whatever the case might be? What was a personal highlight? Probably hard to go past our win in um, the fours last year. I'm not sure who was against, but we would just played good cricket and it was like everything that we were training for and stuff like that kind of just clicked that game. Um, not sure what it was about, it, but I remember just all the boys getting up and it was just a great environment to be around. Um, which I think makes Preston so special is we celebrate the wins, but we also learn from the losses. Um, But it just makes such an enjoyable part and makes you want to win the game. Like, gives a bit more incentive so then you have that good environment after the game. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah, for sure. Really good answer. I don't know. Riley burning me when I was about on 30 odd was a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, I reckon the first, first game in the fours, because um, there were a lot of um, new boys that had just come down, such as uh, Jasper, Max and stuff. And um, everyone got around us. Everyone supported us. And it was a really good environment. Um, everyone was putting their backs on the line for each other. It was, it was good. Out of the, um, you know, whether it be uh, present players or all past players, who, who at Preston has, I guess, inspired the two of you to, to be a uh, better cricketer or a better person? Yeah, so there's probably two for me. Um, so Richard Dick Norris, obviously he's um, had some good conversations with me just about how I approach the game and stuff like that, which has been really, really good and helpful. Um, and probably Michael Hayes has been another one that's really helped me with um, training intensity and not lacking in areas where I should be picking it up in. Um, so he definitely pushes me to that extra mile, 100%. Yeah, I'd probably say Hayes as well. I think he, um, his work ethic, his attitude towards the game, especially during training, it's second to none. He always makes sure everyone's doing the right thing as well and trying to get the best out of each other, which I think is a really key aspect. So I think probably him. Yeah, for sure. No, absolutely. He's a um, he's a really good leader of the club, Hazy. And and speaking of being part of the furniture, I don't think anyone is uh, more instilled into the club than uh, Dick Norris himself. So he's, a, he's an absolute legend. Um, well, look, that... that that's all, boys. Nice, nice little short interview. Uh, thanks for uh, spending some time with me to introduce the past players to who we are as a club. Um, I think it's really good to see that um, you know a lot of the answers provided were you know quite positive and and talked a, a lot about the culture that's been uh, built at the club and and um, you know that's something I think we're all or the current players are really proud of is the is the um, inclusive culture that's been uh, developed within within Preston. So um, thanks heaps, boys, and I'll. Uh, See you around one. Yeah, see you there, mate.